Hey everybody, it is time for a weekly wrap up and I am, and there's the dog, the dog just went by. I am doing something different this week because I need to change things up and maybe just get out of the studio and um, enjoy this beautiful Phoenix weather, um, which I know a lot of you don't have good weather right now. So I am very sorry for that, but soaking this up. This is why we um, live in Phoenix, because in a few months it'll be 120 degrees. So, but so I'm outside sitting by the pool, the dogs are roaming around, but I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's just, let's just mix things up. So this week, um, this week, Tuesday, um, I will be sharing on um, the Artist Gang. It'll be my turn to do a video again on Donna Downey's website. So um, yeah, take a look at that. It's gonna be a good one. Um, this week's original art sale is this beauty behind me. I don't know if you can see it, let's see. It'd be a bad thing if I dropped it in the pool. There'll be some pictures for that. It is a 24 by 24 um, gallery kind of mounted. It's on wood. And then um, this baby right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sneak peeks for original art coming up this next week. Um, let's see here on my list. Play day. I've been having some fun with my Fridays because I've been showing what I've been playing with, but uh, I'd like to just give you some sneaks here too. Um, let's see. I'm working on this video series that I'm doing. So, um, got all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, yeah. Good. So, play day is a good thing, it helps for your inspiration. This is another piece that I've been playing with. This one was hard. I'm still working on it. So, play day is happening every Friday. Um, this last week, um, as I'm wrapping up the week, um, I share about um, needing inspiration. And I share a video with you and still, still working on trying to find some mojo to make things happen. Lots of things on the plate, but yeah, uh, I share kind of where and how I might get my inspiration because I get that question asked of me all the time. Where do you find your inspiration? So I share a video on that. Um, 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 I am behind on getting the texture series together uh, because uh, I've been uh, procrastinating. I haven't had any inspiration, which is why I'm sitting in the sun. Um, Affirma kits. I have new Affirma. Fun, fun stuff. These are really cool. That's really cool too. Um, but I have new Affirma kits and packs available for you. And I've actually lowered the price on those because, um, I don't know, I had, I think I had four dollars on them. But I think that's probably too much. So I just lowered it to a couple bucks so that you can create along with me. I try to um, create some type of collage Affirma pack when I create um, a Sunday video so that you can create along with me. And then Craft Fusion, I'm taking a break um, in March and we'll be back in April. And in April, I'm going to be doing the Family Legacy piece that you will see on the blog post. Um, it's the one with all the texture and the molds that we made and all of that. Um, everyone went crazy over that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be teaching that class n at Craft Fusion in um, April. And then um, Be an Artist Gallery is finally coming. It's happening. Um, I've been telling you about it. Um, I'm not going to be doing any classes for February there um, because the opening was a little slow. But um, March 26th and 27th is their grand opening, and you get to meet the artists and... Um, so you should come on down. I'll have the information there so you can come down and hang out with me. Um, next week, um, I will be traveling to Florida. 
more sunshine. And um, I'll be shooting my weekly wrap up video from there. And I will see if I can get a Sunday inspiration piece done while in Florida or before. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I will be I will be having some type of video from Florida. And um, let's see. Oh, speaking of travel, I am trying to. Um, well, one, if, if I'm in Florida next week, if any of you are in Florida, let me know, and maybe we can. I don't, you know, I we're going to be in Boca Raton, I believe. So um, I would love to maybe. Uh, meet you or find out some cool crafty creative places to go and look at and play but the other thing that i'm doing is i'm pu i've put putting my calendar together a lot of it's together already but um i'm looking for new places to teach so if you are whatever city you are in like i'm going to be in boston um in may and i already have a hook up there for a place to teach but if you know of any great places or you would like me to come and teach in your space, um, I would love that. And we could see how we can figure it out. We can do a workshop series where we go through the Beyond the B8 basics or anything like that. Um, I'd, be willing, I'd be willing to do just about anything. Here goes my microphone. This whole microphone thing just really chaps my heart. Um, yeah, so let me know. Um, if you have a cool place that uh, you'd like me to teach at. And then also on the blog this last week, I shared, I'm getting pictures. No, the dog's, the dog's standing right there trying to mess with the camera. <laughs> um, I am, and now the dog's in the pool. And there's a dog barking. <sighs> well, anyway, um, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. On the blog this week, I share um, an artist, jo Joan Jekyll, or Jekyll, Jekyll. Um, I share her art. She's taken the um, beginning parts of the Beyond the Basics um, video series, and she has created art out of that. And I share her art and her process. So um, um, if you haven't seen it this last week, check it out. It's really cool to see what everybody's doing and to brag it everybody up so um all right i think that's it did i get everything oh oh no one other thing um i get asked questions all the time all, all the time about products about techniques and i do my best to send emails back and answer them but um, i am going to try and start addressing some of those on the weekly wrap up um, just real quickly but like for instance um, one of the questions I get is why do I use Liquitex matte medium in my art is there other types of matte medium um, is there other type of uh, products that you can use for collage um, yes yes and yes there is a lot of other products that you can use specifically for collage however um, I like my Liquitex because um, it is used for a lot of other things, uh, not just for collage, but for blending, for um, making paint transparent. There's a lot of different applications that I use it for. So that's one of the reasons why I don't use like collage podge or mod podge or something like that. The other thing I like about Liquitex is that it dries very smooth. There's no tackiness or anything like that. So it is. Um, it is why that is one of the reasons too why I use this. Now there are other products that are probably better. Golden is probably top of the line, um, but it, again it costs more. And for what I do in the layers, uh, you know, it really it's I'm not a purist about some of that stuff. The other thing, the reason I use Liquitex is because it's a pour bottle, and I'm a pour. I'm not a dipper, and the Golden products are in a you have to dip it the, in the brush and put it on. Just pour it right on and paint. So that was a question that's asked of me a lot. If you have questions, send them in and I will, I will answer them for you. I'll do my best. And if I don't know, I will look it up. All right. I hope that your week is wonderful, that maybe you get a break in your bad weather. Um, if you're in the western side of the United States, 
we're soaking it up over here. So have a great Sunday and know that you are loved.